Hey, I wanted to share with you my eight steps that I used to get out of credit card debt. So the first thing I did was to start using cash. Um, I determined how much I was making and how much I was spending and what I had available. I allowed myself $125 a week for groceries and $100 for miscellaneous. Now, we're a family of four, and so the $125 a week wasn't really enough for groceries, so I think a lot of the miscellaneous money went towards food. The second thing I did was to set up online banking. I did this through Wells Fargo, um, and it is useful because I think that trying to do your banking with paper and so forth, uh, very often, you know, people don't do it in a timely manner, um, and then I put my bills on auto pay, and so that prevented any late fees. And I took every credit card or loan, and I paid the minimum payment on each one, with the exception of the one with the highest interest rate. The one with the highest interest rate, I then paid $280 a month. Um, the reason I chose $280 a month is simply that my husband had taken a new job and he was no longer on my insurance and that was what I was saving a month so I thought that that was the ideal amount. Now, once that first credit card was paid off, what I did is then I took that $280 and I, I applied it to the next highest interest rate and absorbed that minimum payment. So instead of paying $280 a month, I was paying $280 a month plus the $35 minimum payment, and so it was $315 a month. And then the next highest interest rate, I was paying $75 a month, and so once that one was absorbed, I was paying $390 a month. So you can see like it increased every time um, I moved to a new loan or a credit card. Um, so once everything was paid off, I did a few things to help myself. One was I created what I called a payment account. So Wells Fargo Online, they allow you to have more than one account. And so this one, I had an auto payment come out of my checking um, where my, my uh, paycheck is automatically deposited. And what I did was I tallied up the cost of all the payments that aren't monthly, like your car insurance, and like our house insurance is not escrowed and the girls have summer camp, and I have to go to a podiatrist once a year, and that's at least $300. And so I, I added those all up, and I divided by 12, and then and it was something over $400 a month. Went directly into that account, and then when one of these payments came up, it didn't like rock my financial world because I had the money saved already. And um, so that was really handy. Another thing I did is once I was out of debt, I started using a debit card because that um, really helped me keep track of how much money I had, how much I was spending, and if I dropped below $100 in my checking account, uh, Wells Fargo would send me a text alert. And so that was sort of handy, um, especially right before I was getting paid. And the last thing I did was Wells Fargo has what's called a way to save account. And what this account is, is every time you use your debit card, they put a dollar from your checking account into this account. And I know it doesn't sound like much, but it's actually really come in handy a few times when uh, I'm just about to get paid and I get that alert from Wells Fargo and I'm under $100. And so I go to the way to save account and I'll have, you know, say 161 in there or 80 or something. And I'll transfer that to my saving or to my checking, and it'll you know hold me over until we get paid. Um, so the last thing I want to say is you know I'm your typical average American middle class. You know we don't spend crazy. We went into debt just because of circumstances. You know my clutch went out. I had to buy a new one, and um, the boiler went out in so forth. And um, I got out of credit card debt using these eight steps. And then some other circumstances sent me back into credit card debt. I used the same eight steps and got out again. So um, I think it's just reality and it's life. And don't beat yourself up over being in debt. I think it happens uh, to more people than you realize. And so if you follow these eight steps or some of them, 
and you get yourself out of debt and then you get back in debt, just use those steps again and get back out again. So good luck. Thanks for watching.